Hi, it's Mark Bossert, producer of the Pollock Automotive Podcast. We're here with Mr. Bernie Pollock, Pollock Automotive in Vancouver, 19-time winners of Best Auto Repair in Vancouver as voted by their customers. And we're talking cars. How are you doing this morning, Bernie? Doing well. So we have a 2008 Grand Caravan that had a wheel bearing issue. What was going on with this minivan? Yeah, so uh, the owner of the vehicle brought, brought it into our shop with a complaint of a rattle noise. Um, technician Nigel took it out for a little drive. It wasn't more than a few feet into the parking lot where he heard a hideous grinding noise coming from the vehicle that the owner actually hadn't described, but that was the first thing that, uh, that he noted. And so what did you find was wrong with the van? Well, it was pretty apparent. Uh, wheel bearing noises are pretty distinct, and it was pretty apparent that this was more than likely a wheel bearing noise. So we uh, took it for a further road test and then hoisted the vehicle and found uh, probably the noisiest wheel bearing we've ever encountered in our career. So, and, I'll, and which, on the right which, front, by the way. Right front. Yeah, just, just one bearing. And do you have some pictures or I images? do. I have a video. Unfortunately, for some weird reason, the sound didn't transfer over. So I'm going to show the video, then I'm just going to play the soundtrack on my phone because that's really where the, the juice is of this video. So here, here it goes. So there's the video spinning the bearing. But uh, let me just play this soundtrack too because this is where you'll... This is the most interesting part. loudest wheel bearing <laughs> so uh you heard that okay did yep yeah so yeah so that that was uh yeah that was basically uh in, instead of seeing the bearing spin of course the uh, the noise was was kind of the key part and i don't know why the technology is odd sometimes but anyways that was basically the noise i mean just an absolute solid metal on metal rotational noise i mean i've no never heard anything quite so loud it's a meditation bell so yeah, is this exa absolutely <laughs> it, it, it's it kind of had that uh, tone to it so where's the actual bearing i only see rusty metal yeah so uh the bearing is actually inside this area here so this part here the part that was being spun and i'll just actually just play this one more time yeah so the part that's spinning is that's the hub and the part that's being held solid, that, that's the mounting plate. And the bearing sits inside this area here. So this, um, this hub here, this is where the wheel bolt's on. And the uh, axle shaft goes, the drive axle shaft goes through the hub, center of the hub. And that's driven, of course, by the, in, by the engine and transmission. And then the bearing sits inside here. So is this a pretty common design of wheel bearing? Yeah, very common. This is a, this is what's called a unitized wheel bearing, and uh, very common. Um, I, I would guess that maybe 50% or more of vehicles on the road use this type of design. So yeah, it's, it's very common. So you can't actually take that apart and pull the wheel bearing out. You have that. You replace that whole piece. Is that how yeah. that works? You you replace the whole piece. It's a bolt in, bolt out. Um, you know, generally pretty straightforward, but the uh, one factor you get, of course, is rust. And as you can see on that part, um, you know, the parts over time rust in place and it can sometimes be quite an effort to get it out. And they, they even use these wheel bearings on, on, you know, uh, like Ford F-350 pickups, uh, Dodge trucks, Chevys. They, they all use that, that type of design too. And getting those bearings out, of course, they're, they're humongous. Um, you know, getting those out, we actually have special tools that can help pop them out of place. So. They, they, they often require a fair bit of effort once they get old and rusty. So are these bearings a common replacement part? Um, they are, um, but it's, it's, it, there's nothing really where we can say that, you know, this sp specific vehicle, all the bearings go, or, you know, you, you, it's going to go at this particular mileage. They, they're really, they really fail at, at different rates. I mean, it's entirely possible you may have a vehicle and go 400,000 kilometers without replacing a wheel bearing. Um, or you might uh, have one wear out, you know, before a hundred, uh, sometimes just one side will wear, sometimes the other one will wear. It's just, it, there's no rhyme or reason, but the, the good thing about it is you'll hear a noise coming. Once you get it diagnosed and verified, you can just replace that part and you'll know. And it's not, uh, I mean, this bearing is so loud. This person has been, is, would have to have been driving for quite a long time with a quite a bit loud noise getting worse and worse before they chose to fix it there's lots of parts that i can think of on cars that need to be replaced in pairs like shocks brakes tires um are wheel bearings like this uh they're not um these are basically a one side there's no reason to change more than one like things like um shocks brakes and tires uh especially on the front of the vehicle i mean they they um they have different 
say for a shock absorber, it does a different rebound rate. So if you don't change both shocks at the same time, you might have, a, you know, one corner of the vehicle will bounce differently than the other or uh, brakes, you know, if the friction materials aren't exactly matching uh, in terms of the rotors, pads, and calipers, you know, you could get brake poles, um, tires, same thing. You know, you'll get handling issues. With a wheel bearing, it's just a very precision machine part. And if one isn't worn, the other one doesn't need to be replaced. It's, it's, you just replace the worn out one and do the other one at, at a later time. So there you go. If you're looking for replacements of your wheel bearings on any make or model of vehicle in Vancouver, the guys to see are Pollock Automotive. You can reach them at 604-327-7112 to book your appointment. You have to call and book ahead because they're busy. Or check out their website, pollockautomotive.com. There's hundreds of, literally hundreds of videos and articles on there about car repairs. As well, there's our YouTube channel with, again, hundreds of videos over eight, almost eight years of doing this as well. Thank you for watching the podcast and thank you, Bernie. Thanks, Mark. And thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. Music